Hey, good afternoon. How are you? There he is. How's it going, Colin? Good. Going well. Thank you. Sorry for a little delayed here. Issues with the link. It's all right. Glad to glad that we got you here. All right. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, Colin, just give him a quick introduction on Brazen, and uh, we'll go into your demo from there. Absolutely. So, Brazen, virtual career fair platform. Uh, been doing this for about 11 and a half years now. Growing company almost, you know, at this point, we'll be at 100 plus employees. Uh, just solely focused on virtual events. Um, this is all we really do. There's no other subset of our company or anything like that. So we specialize in this area and we have about 450, you know, by the end of the year, 500 plus customers on an annual subscription rate uh, with a high renewal retention. So anyone who typically comes to us stays with us for, for plenty of years uh, to come. So we feel like we're the experts in, in this space for sure. Yep. And a quick tip for the audience out there, how to make a successful virtual career fair? Um, I would say, you know, reporting and doing your, we will do, I'll talk about it, I'll hit on here in my, my demo, um, making sure that you're active in the reporting, uh, seeing who's registering, what the quality's like, um, and preparing for your event. Because you'll be able to see on our reporting, uh, you know, based on the registration, how they answered. And so you can see what booths, what recruiters are going to be slammed, and then you can adjust accordingly depending on how your registrants are coming in. Well, share your screen. Let's get going. All right. Cool. So let me go ahead here. Okay. So I'm going to flip around here. I have a couple screenshots. Cool. So with the Brazen platform, we offer unlimited events, all you can eat for the duration of your contract. So you get very creative with the types of events that you host. And it's really easy to do. So typically within 24 hours of a contract in place, you get access to our platform and you'll get a Brazen team assigned. And then you're off to the races. It's super easy to use. And we've done that over that 11 and a half year span is create this thing to make it user friendly where anyone who hasn't touched a computer can, can really use this thing and hit the ground running. So you can create your events and you get to save them as templates and pull them out whenever you want to reuse them. So you can make an event with a matter of three clicks. And when you create your event, our system has a dashboard with all the different links that you'll market your event. LinkedIn, Facebook, any paid advertisement. And so we track that data. When a candidate clicks on that advertisement, they're brought here and we'll now be able to tell you how your channels are performing and keep fine tuning those events as you go. So a candidate hits this page, it's called the landing page. You get to customize it, make it your own. We have some SSO options. We're trying to convert this candidate as fast as possible which brings me to another point that everything you're about to see is mobile friendly. We don't use Zoom, we don't use Skype, WebEx, GoTo. Everything's built into this platform. Uh, no downloads, no apps. Uh, and we made sure everything looks great on your phone. So a candidate hits here, they sign up. The moment they sign up, name and email, you get that data automatically. You can log in, download that right from the get-go. After they do that, they're then gonna be brought to a registration form not a third party form all within Brazen and you're in full control over this form. You get to ask whatever you wanna ask, make fields required, ask subset questions depending on their answer and they can upload their resume and put in their phone number. The moment they do that, you hit download, you could see that candidate info as well. So this candidate would have been allowed to add it to their calendar. We sync up with all the calendars and then Brazen starts a text campaign and an email campaign on your behalf. And then we have 24 seven live support and the candidate will get all of their contact information in every email we send out. Day of the event, they log in. And now I'm gonna flip over to the recruiter side. So the recruiter will come in. You can do whatever you want within the platform. Each event can look completely different, color scheme, whatever you want. And so you can put in multiple videos if you want, surveys up to you, what you put in the sidebar. This will follow the candidates around the event. You can have as many booths as you want. Uh, for enterprise customers, typically we have, you know, no one has more than 100. You'll want to keep it between five and 10 so you don't overwhelm the candidates. Uh, but we do have larger career fairs as well. These booths are going to be designed kind of to, to fit your event need. If your recruiters can only talk about certain locations, well, if you're having a big career fair, you might just break up booths by location, staff them with the right recruiters. 
And the boosts here, why they're stacked up like this is because they stack up on top of each other. If you're on your phone, we want to make it look pretty. Candidates, you know, if you're on your phone and you're looking down at something that's not visually, you know, pleasing, you know, and you're waiting five minutes, your your drop off rate's going to increase. So we're trying to keep them busy while they're waiting to chat. Yep. Got a question, Colin. Is the uh, yeah. text uh, slash email campaign just to those who have registered or can you upload a list? Uh, it's just those that registered. They put in their phone number. They accept the terms that they're agreeing to text reminders. So it's just those folks. Very good. Yep. Cool. So I'm the recruiter. I come in. We make it easy for the recruiter too. Not everyone's tech savvy. We're trying to show them where their booths are. They can be in as many booths as they want. Um, before I do that, recruiters can also search registrants at any point leading up to the event. During the live event, it's up to them. And they could search them based off of the registration. So it's super easy for them to do. And when they do that, it's then going to filter their search. They can then review registration, resumes if they uploaded one. And they could personally invite this candidate to their booth to chat. I know we're tight on time here going into my booth. Ignore this booth for a moment. Each booth can be different and we're trying to make it branded. Uh, everything's about that candidate experience, informing them about the company, why they should apply, why they should work there. So here we I enabled three tabs, a home, a benefits, and I also enabled an about us tab. So it's really up to you what those tabs say. Typically, we see people have an opportunities tab and hyperlink out right to the job recs. The recruiters will be listed here. And we have a live analytic dashboard showing the candidates where they stand in line if they want to chat in this booth. Candidates will hit chat. Uh, they're then going to be placed in line to connect with the next available recruiter. So the candidates are on the other end waiting to chat. And then the recruiters automatically connected. So here I'm connected to Mimi. Uh, I see Mimi's a registered nurse, all of Mimi's registration info, smart queue information's in there as well. We do have a cool smart queue feature that you can ask the candidates if they want to chat in your booth. And it's pretty much saying, hey, which opportunity are you interested in? And then you can ask them up to seven questions and the system starts grading the candidate and it puts the most qualified ones in front of the line to connect with you first. You'll see here chats are time for the demo. I have it set for five minutes. Most are 10 minute chat times. You get to extend that and we limit that. So we made sure you can only extend once because we don't want candidates experiencing a 45, 50 minute wait time. So you get the safety net to extend it once um, if you need to. And the candidate does not know you have that ability. Yep. We allow you to you know, store your questions and answers. You're gonna get very quick. You're gonna get very quick with going back and forth with this candidate. And we also have little features like setting up a greeting. It's the little stuff that can get a little repetitive, like saying, hey, what brings you in today? You could also have multiple chats at once. And then real quick, I wanna show you all our video and audio feature that's been getting attention. Okay. So this is not Zoom or anything. And the easiest analogy I can think of is FaceTime. So if I wanna hop on video with this candidate, I can. I'll simply hit video. It's then going to send a message to the candidate. Hey, Colin wants to jump on camera. Do you accept or do you decline? If they accept, the camera is going to enable right from here. You can still see all of their credentials and the chat from the platform. Very cool. Awesome. Uh, do you have a question? Another question from the audience. Um, uh, ATS integrations, which ones do you currently integrate with? Yeah, uh, iSIMS, Telemetry, um, smash fly and we have more coming on the, uh, down the pipe here just had a call about that this morning so more to come gotcha yeah all right you got about uh, two more minutes all right so i'm going to fly here your team can end the chat at any point when you end the chat you're brought to a rating screen so you get to put the candidate in a bucket based on the quality any notes about the candidate you can prevent candidates from chatting in your booth again you also have six months from this event date to go back in here you can email candidates, forward them off to a colleague and schedule follow-ups all from within our platform. So nothing manual, copy and pasting emails outside of this event. One last thing I wanna show you is we do offer live webinars as well. So if you wanted to host a webinar while this event's going on, ideally if your booths had 15 minute wait times, right? You wanna grab maybe someone who has a cool success story to present to the audience, you can do that. 
So here I have one webinar booth um, here from our chief nursing officer. I'm going in as if I'm presenting, so I have a different view. Candidates would have a nice picture, you know, and information about the stream. You could have up to uh, four people streaming in this booth at once, and all of your viewers would be listed here. And so this allows you to do a webinar, more info-based session. Hey, here's our benefits. Here's why you should apply. And you can enable a discussion feed for live questions from the audience. So to recap all of that, at the end of the event, you'll be able to download reports, who chatted in what booth with what representative, what they were rated, the notes, and you could really find out who you're going after after that event. And you could also download that CSV and export import into your ATS or CRM. Give me an example of a couple of your last events, uh, kind of what kind of companies were they, how big were they? Can you give us a sense of that? Yeah, there's there's just a lot a lot of events going on, a lot of examples I can throw out. But uh, BP, oil and gas, Schlumberger, uh, IBM, a lot of experience. You know, we had the hot season of university recruiting, uh, which kind of died off. Now yep. it's more into the experienced tires, but we know spring's coming up, internship season, so I expect that to change change pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. Any more questions from the audience for, for Colin and Brazen? Anything else you want to add, Colin? No, that's that's it. Yeah, any questions at all, feel free. I'll put my email in here. You can reach out to me directly. Yeah. Um, if you have one in here, well. questions in here, I can follow up with you directly, get those answered for you. Here's one more for you. Can Jobsigger search slash filter employer boost by job locations or by opportunities? Yeah. Uh, they can search by keyword on booth title, and they could also do a filter. Uh, you could tag your booths with whatever topics, even discussions, uh, whatever you want. You could tag your booths, and then candidates can search based off your tags. So really narrow in on their search. Awesome. Looks like your colleague uh, Sarah is here. So her email's in the uh, the chat there. Uh, you also email sure. her, I guess, to uh, set up demos. But Colin, yeah, you feel free to throw your uh, email in the chat there if you want to uh, push that out there. Wonderful. Appreciate your time today from Brazen and uh, thanks for uh, thanks for joining us here. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Take care. Take care.